Hi everyone, this video, Jan's going to take you through it and it's how to add an underskirt to a wedding dress. Watch and learn. If you've got a 50s style dress and you want to add a nice full underskirt to it, you can buy these you know, ready-made ones off the internet, they're absolutely amazing. You pop them under your dress and you've got your splash of colour. Or, of course, if you just want to make the dress more full, then again, you just pop one of these under your dress if you've got the nice A-line 50 style dress. I thought I could put this under a T-length wedding dress and it would have the effect of just giving a flash of colour as we twirled. But it didn't work very well because when you lay it underneath the wedding dress, the satin underskirt pushes it down and you end up with a disjointed look. So I'm going to show you what I've done to add a splash of colour to the underside of a wedding dress between the layers of net and satin. Now what I've done, I've bought the organza teal on a roll. So it's already got this lovely overlocking, it's already done for me. So you buy it on a roll, it's about 11 yards of it. I bought two rolls of this organza laid one on top of the other, put them together with a running stitch, you just pop that on your machine and you just put, don't tie one end, make sure your thread is strong because otherwise as you pull it through it might snap, just do a running stitch all along the edge, one of the edges that have, you know, that are here, so imagine this is this edge and you just put a running stitch all the way along the edge as close as you can to your overlocking, then gently pull it through. Just before you pull it through, fold it in half and fold it in half again so you've got a quarter of your length and then pin it at the four points on the dress, on your underskirt. So you've got one long length, you've folded it, you've folded it again and then the halfway mark and the quarter way mark, you then pin it on with safety pins. Then gently gather through all your gathers until you have an equal distribution of the gather all the way around the underskirt. Now in this case, I pinned it to this bottom layer. That now has to be sewn in place, obviously. Then when we bring this layer down, it holds it out beautifully. So you just get a flash of colour. I'm not going below the level. I want this to still be the main part that you see because then as as you twirl around on the dance floor, you see this bit. So it's not below the level, it's got to be just above the level of that to work. When I drop down the rest of the dress, the green shows through. So what I've done is, I bought some lining, cheap lining. I've cut it on the circle. So I, I simply measured this bottom edge, measured this round here, and then I've just cut it on the circle. There's videos out there to show you how to do that. I'm not going into how to do that. Pinned it together, cut the back out for where the zip will go. And now, when this is, when this is sewn in, I'm going to sew this into place on this here. If you come in here, you'll see where I'm gonna sew this into place. So I will pin it and sew it into place. And then this will cover that green. So then that, i get this one out of the way because I've got it all ready to go. You can see that covers the green. And by the time you bring down the rest of the dress, the green doesn't show through. Uh, I re mentioned um, making a long running stitch and gathering it. And this is how I would do it. I don't secure the end, but be very careful you don't pull it through. You just do a very long stitch and run it along. So you want a nice long stitch. All right, I'm just going to, for now, this is, this is all I'm going to do. Pull it out. Don't secure the end. You need to have very strong thread. I've got embroidery thread so that when you pull it, it doesn't snap. And then you just take the top or the bottom, doesn't matter which one, and you just gradually put it through and you get your gather. And you can go to the other end. Make sure you get the top or the bottom the same one. And can you see, I'm just pulling that through. And that's all I did in order to attach it to the net on the wedding dress. So you just pull it through as much or as little as you want and then tie the end off so it doesn't pull through. If of course you pull through really hard, it's all gonna unravel. So you need to hold the end and then pull through gently 
on either the top or the bottom one but make sure you've got the other one held and you can gather it as much or as little as you want. So what I was explaining with attaching this before you gather your organza fold it in half and then mark it with a safety pin. Safety pin's better because it won't come out. Then fold it again and mark it again on the two bits. So now you have your mark a quarter of the way round and a half of the way round. So you know that that is going to be the right hand side of your underskirt. That's going to be the left and then you put this on the middle seam if you have one and then as you gather it through you know that that section there is going to stay within that first section of the quarter of your underskirt. So now here you can see we cannot see the green through at all and if I just home in on here and show you if we lift this up you've got your layers there's the satin the lining I put over all sewn into place and then that comes over and that's blocked the green showing through by the time you've dropped the rest of the layers down there's no way that green's going to show through and there we have our green underskirt so you just get that flash of colour just coming through in amongst all the other folds and as you twirl on the dance floor that is going to look absolutely amazing Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, all my videos, you know where to go. Derrick and 33, tons of stuff out there for everybody. Thanks for watching.